graphic products, what does it mean? Um, okay, so you need to be able to communicate an idea to somebody else graphically. This can take the form of um, a graphic model, a shop front, um, an exhibition stand, um, anything which has got uh, graphics in it. It can even go down to things like points of sale display in shops. But these are not very interesting ideas. What we've tended to do in graphic products is look at car design and how we can use um, the vehicle of car design um, or possibly, I guess, uh, things like scooter design, um, if you're interested in scooters, um, or even mobile phone design or Game Boy design or whatever, um, to get across a new idea. So what you would do is you would basically design something um, you might even make it out of MDF and spray it up and make it look like a real thing. So you could imagine if you imagine designing a phone, for instance, you could design a phone um, from and make it from MDF and um, make a nice fascia for it and uh, make it look attractive. We could design a fascia for it in Microsoft Paint or Photoshop or some similar design graphics package. We could print that off. We could laminate it. We could cut out the lamination fix it to the front of the phone and it would look, look very realistic. Now, in a way you don't get many marks for doing that. What you what you get the marks for is then what you do with that um, as an image. So what you would do is consider taking photographs of that image. If it was a model car for instance, take photographs of the model car and then create a graphic um, project like it might be for instance the front of a car magazine. So what car, auto car, um, top Gear, some magazine front with uh, a feature of your car, the photograph of your car model that you've made on the front cover. So in actual fact you've, you've produced something which can be shown to a client and say well this is my design for a magazine front cover and um, this is what it would look like. The car itself would be a picture of the car that you've made. Now that's where you would get the marks from for the practical element. Uh, it could be a brochure for a phone, it could be um, uh, a model of a phone um, with a, a, a photograph of that model on the box of the phone that um, the phone would come in. So the packaging of the phone would include an image of the box, you would possibly also have a leaflet advertising the phone. All these things are graphic images. If we look at the car exhibition stand design, you're designing a car exhibition stand design, so you would look at car exhibition stands, uh, pictures on the internet. If you've got, if you're lucky enough to get a chance to go to the NEC and go to the motor show, you would look at lots of different stands there, and you would also look at the sort of things that they would give away, like promotional pencils, you know, with their car logo name, etc., on the pencil, um, carrier bags, uh, caps. Um, just about anything that they would give give away are graphic devices and, and we would actually do that as another graphic product. So either one of those would be a suitable product to do for an outcome. Similarly, um, a pop-up card is a nice graphic device. Well, if we turn a pop-up card into several cards glued back to back and create like a pop-up book, then we've got another graphic product, a, graph um, a pop-up book or a series of three-dimensional um, pop-up cards, greetings cards, and these are getting more and more popular all the time. In fact we can do a, um, a 3D greetings card or a birthday card featuring a model of a car on the front if you wanted to sort of look at um, developing one of the car ideas that uh, we've talked about, either the exhibition stand or car design. So there's a, there's a flavour of some of the things that you can do. Now I must say that unless you're very good at drawing or um, don't really consider the course. The course has changed a little bit over the years. We could get away with people taking photographs and um, people used to get high marks if they couldn't draw very well but nowadays you really do need to draw and paint and illustrate very well indeed to get good marks. You also need to be self-motivated and do lots of work at home because the coursework, especially in year 11, is worth at the present time 60% of your total mark. So your coursework, which is your folio and your 3D outcomes, your model of your stand or phone or whatever you've made, that counts as 60% of your 
um, total mark and the, the, the other 40% would come from an end exam. In the future they're going to be looking at that with a view to making it 50-50 but at the present time it's 60-40. It is possible to get almost a C grade uh, with coursework providing you get pretty well full marks for coursework. That means that you go into the exam just wanting a few marks to get um, your, your, your C consolidated and then a grade B and then a grade A and hopefully a grade A star. So there you are. If you've got any questions, come and see me. Um, be glad to talk to you about it. Um, it is an enjoyable course. Uh, you have to have imagination. You have to be willing to work hard. Some students do find the discipline a bit tricky. Um, so, but if you've got any questions, come and see me. Be glad to talk to you. Okay, bye for now. Hope that helps. Grammar School, for well over 10 years now, I've been running my own website, which started off as a technology website, then it became a school website. But since the school has now started to uh, develop its own school website, I'm calling it my website again. Um, but on that website, there's a blog for GCSE. So people, parents, students can contact me through that blog, um, which I think has been pretty useful. And also there is a possibility of video linking as well, which I'm not so sure about, but we can give it a try for a little bit longer, um, where you could show me a drawing, for instance, and I could sort of say, well, if you just did um, this and that, it might improve it, or that is a very good drawing or whatever. So it is possible to communicate uh, like that. I will also be exploring the view, uh, the possibility of texting parents. I've started that this year with Year 11, and certainly emailing parents. So um, I hope that would uh, help confirm, you know, communication possibilities between parents and, and me. I think communication is probably the most important aspect of, um, well, just about anything really. So if we can communicate effectively together, I'm sure we'll do very well. Right, I guess that's me finished. Good luck. Uh, also, just one last thing. Um, I do put lots of videos up on YouTube which uh, are there to help the students and uh, access to this site can be gained from uh, my website which is Beverly Grammar School Co UK, Beverly Grammar School all one word, dot co dot UK. So um, pop along to the site, you'll see lots of help for year 10, 11 and YouTube clips as well. Okay, thank you.